Hey everybody, I'm making some delicious vegan appetizers today. They are French and they are savory and delicious. They are vegan gougères. Uh, gougères are a French pastry that are just little appetizers made with cheese and butter, but we're just swapping out vegan cheese and vegan butter and it's super delicious. It's not exactly as fluffy as the traditional, uh, which are more of a cheese puff. Um, I do have a vegan egg substitute in here and it's not the same consistency, but I'm telling you they are so, so yummy. Um, they're super appetizers for any occasion. So I will show you how to make them now. Okay, so I have my oven preheating to uh, 450 degrees and I'm gonna start with my pot and do a low simmer of a half a cup of vegan butter. I use Earth Balance, but whatever vegan butter you like. And a cup of water. And a teaspoon of salt. Okay, so I'm just gonna let this simmer and then we'll be adding in the other ingredients. And I've made this, I made it a few years ago um, and it just was so tasty. It's a little, you know, more dense than the traditional, but really, really good. And everybody loved them. I, I think I served them around Christmas time. And while this is waiting to simmer, I'm going to shred um, half a cup of cheese. I actually love the Violife smoked provolone. It has like almost like a Gruyere taste. It's really good. Um, and these are slices. So whenever I have the slices, I like to just put them in my mini food processor um, to grate because it's kind of hard to grate slices on a grater, but it still gives you the same effect. So I'm gonna do that now. We'll put a couple of slices in. I would say for a half a cup, we'll probably do, I don't know, we'll try three slices. Just gonna do that. like about a half cup. Okay. Right. Get that ready. Get this out of the way. Take out the blade. Okay. And there we have our grated cheese. That's ready to go. Okay. All right. I'm actually going to use a bigger spatula here. Okay. okay, so that's what we want. So the butter and um, the water and the salt are all kind of mixed together now. So we're gonna add in our flour and reduce the heat a little bit. So I have a cup of flour here. Mix that in. And it's gonna form a dough. Yeah, that looks great. Yep. And you kinda of wanna just mix it together until the dough starts to kinda of separate from the outside. I can go ahead and add my vegan egg, which is the Bob's replacer, egg replacer. This is a really good egg replacer. There's other ones out there too that are good, but I really like this one. Now, our cheese. Get all that. This is a really savory recipe, and I found that, that I really like that Violife brand. Okay. 
we're just going to kind of mix that in. It'll kind of melt together. And I already smell the cheese. It smells really good. And use whatever, you know, vegan cheese that you like. And for people out there that tried vegan cheese once and they don't like it, I'm telling you, there is one out there for you. Um, they've come a long way with vegan cheese and there's so many brands now. So then what we need to do is just let it cool a little bit so that I could put it in my pastry bag and um, get it on my cookie sheet and put it in the oven. Okay, our dough has cooled down and I have my pastry bag ready with my pastry tip. And um, again, you can use, if you don't have a, a pastry bag, this is a reusable one I've, I've had for many years. Um, but you can get a plastic bag, like a Ziploc bag, and just cut the tip of it off and use that as your pastry bag. Um, but you definitely want to make sure the dough has cooled down because you don't want the hot dough with the plastic. So I'm going to put a bit of this dough into the pastry bag. All right. There it is, it's still a bit warm, but with this bag, it'll probably be okay. And let's get it to the bottom there. Okay, and then we're gonna spread these a couple inches apart. I'm just gonna do about a tablespoon up and then I'm going to put them in the oven 450 degrees for 10 minutes and then I'm going to lower the temperature to 350 degrees for about another 15 minutes and let them finish up um, getting like a nice golden brown. All right guys I have my gougeres that have now cooled and they've come out of the oven and they are looking phenomenal if I don't eat them all myself but I am definitely going to try one right now. They look very crispy. If you can see on the, the bottom, they have like a nice golden brown. The cheese is kind of melted and browned under there too, and it's, it smells delicious. Mmm. Still pretty warm. These are so good. Really, really good. Mmm. <laughs> Yeah, you can taste the, the cheese and the very buttery. And just the right size for appetizers. So next time you have a dinner party or you're attending a dinner party, I definitely recommend making these. They're super tasty and everyone will love this great French pastry.